Hi, my name's Leila Saeed and I'm the Social Inclusion Engagement Lead for the Step Forward Service at Mersey Care. I'm here to talk about why I joined the BAME Network. The BAME Network has been a support for me during the pandemic. It's provided me with the support as I needed during the pandemic to get through. It's been a really, really, really excellent support in terms of you know, my colleagues being supportive. Um, what about you, Fatima? Hi, my name is Fatima Sherifali and I'm a safeguarding secretary. The network was essential lifeline during uh, the time of COVID and during the times where everything was confusion. Obviously, I joined the network before the pandemic and at that time, a lot of network had been set up through the, the trust. So the network was one of the staff network is there available to support the staff, not, it's the staff but obviously this is one specific for people from ethnic minority staff or from ethnic minorities who have any issues or if they face any inequalities or to just promote it and encourage them to take this step further, further in their careers and uh, it's not only for corporate stuff there is this support and camaraderie and we have a laugh we join together we enjoy our meetings and like for example one meeting one of the ladies brought a box of tangerines because mm. you have extra tangerines in the garden and decided to share it with us. It was delicious. Yeah. Nice. Fantastic. What I got out of the network is I've met some lovely people um, and we've become friends mm. and also I've been able to access opportunities through the network that I probably hadn't probably considered. The network encourages us to develop uh, professionally so I've been able to go on a leadership course, I've also accessed some action learning sets and also some, some coaching and I guess yeah they've really helped me develop in my confidence and also in my career. Yeah. I, I agree with you about the courses. I did the coaching training and it was brilliant and I participated in coaching so I got a one-to-one -one coaching and it was very helpful and it helped me in a time where I was so confused about what I want to do next for my future and uh, I mean as a result of that now I started I mean with the support of the trust actually uh, I do, I'm doing an apprenticeship degree mm -hmm. to become a, a manager so uh, I wouldn't dream when I started a couple of years ago I would get to this level or I able to do that so it boosted my confidence it helped me and because the trust has itself as I think uh, other as other many trust groups they have an allies so we have a lot of trust allies so the fact is we have we not only been listened to each other but we've been listened to up by the management and that support was very valuable to boost our molas to boost our you know to, to know that there's somebody we, what we feel is valid and where we yeah, it's something can be done about it yeah absolutely. and it was just brilliant and you go to this one where what you work in a daily in your daily job with a boost in your step absolutely and we have some fantastic events so yeah, we have black like history month but also we learn about other cultures because we're not grouped together as BAME and we're not homogenous at yeah, all yeah. we learn about other cultures as well which and is absolutely fantastic we're doing work with uh, the women group with the yeah. women with the LGBT groups we do uh, we do a lot of because a lot of our um, what they call core class ethics and ideas are cross it's all about shared purposes, it's, it's shared purposes. Yeah. it's all about equality it's all about uh, equal opportunities it's about celebrating each other yeah. so it's absolutely fantastic because you lean and then you you meeting people in other but because the trust is massive you don't have the opportunity if you other trusts are geographically built but we're not geographically we're like spread in a different yeah. side so in these meetings you meet people from other divisions and mm -hmm. other departments and you're learning from each other yeah, like no. you know, and it's, it's just such a big organization it's such a big organization it is, it is inclusive yeah, yeah yeah and because now we have more staff coming from like northwest boroughs yeah. we actually now we're working to amalgamate us with us and just welcome them and it's just fantastic work and it's just growing and growing mm -hmm. and we've been having successes and it just it warms your heart yeah it's a warms your heart and it, it's one of the things that i loved about still working with women yeah absolutely i started working for the public services about 30 years ago and everywhere i worked if there was a bit a bame staff network or bme staff network that used to be called i always make sure that i joined them and if there wasn't one I did everything I could do to create one and sometimes we were you know uh, successful and we had a lot of members and sometimes we weren't uh, as successful but it never ever actually dampened my desire 
to be part of this uh, network and you might ask, ask yourself why you know I believe in fairness equality and inclusiveness in the workplace in the BAME staff network we work proactively to address and campaign around race discrimination, its causes and the consequences. I really believe in a strong, effective BAM staff network uh, in an organization with a diverse workforce, as such as uh, Mezike, uh, uh, would help the organization to achieve their goals better. Um, it makes the organization look more progressive. And I think that a lot of talented people they would like to work with such a for such a organization. And also, I really want to be part of the network because it belongs to me. It's my network. It's our network. And I think that you know there is affinity there. We share the same sort of experiences. We witness the same sort of experience in regard to issues around our color, race, religion. Finally, what I would like to say is. Sometimes we get disillusioned. Sometimes we think that we haven't achieved much. And sometimes we think that we're talking about the same thing. After 30 years being in this network, trust me, I can tell you that we have achieved and we are progressing. And one of the reasons that we are progressing is because we are more diverse. Every day we are more people from all different colors and religions coming to the uh, NHS to work. Um, and finally, I would like to say that together, united, we are stronger. I like to stress that the uh, BAM staff network on its, no, on its own would not be successful. We need strong allies. And one of our strongest allies in Mexico is Dr. Jules Carlyle. I would like to introduce her to you. It's been a real privilege to be taken into the BAME network. Um, it's not the vision of the journey that I had at the very beginning of uh, the work that I started in the pandemic. But uh, it was work that was so supported by the trust and we had our di executive director of uh, workforce Amanda Oates directly ask you to do this piece of work. Can you tell us a bit more about that piece of work and how that's um, useful to the trust? I think in the, in the middle of last year when um, the NHS started to realize uh, how COVID was disproportionately affecting our Bain colleagues, mm -hmm. our staff and patients and also with the uh, murder of George Floyd, there became a real um, appetite to be different amongst uh, white colleagues as well. It's about paying attention. And uh, Amanda Oates and I had had a very tender conversation about how painful it was to watch our, um, our colleagues go through some uh, emotional difficulty. Mm -hmm. And that actually we needed to step up and do things differently. And she kind of commissioned uh, some action learning sets to think about what it is that the trust needed to, to do. And one of those more difficult things was uh, self-awareness, to understand privilege, to really embrace talking to white people about race was the most challenging aspect um, because that makes people feel really uncomfortable. That's right, and part of the support of the network of wanting allies is to have these conversations that are really difficult, but to normalize them so that we can embrace what's the, what, what's the pressures are for BAME staff and BAME service users, and where people can really feel like they are heard, their concerns are listened to, and, and addressed. Yes, yeah. definitely. I think the challenge as well, being, um, being a white member of staff, was to ask for representation around the table. Mm. So I attend, as a senior member of staff, I attend a lot of meetings. And to draw attention to the lack of representation um, was a challenge. I think that had I not been senior, had I been younger uh, in my career, that would have been a more difficult ask. Um, and to kind of tolerate other people's uncomfortableness as their awareness uh, is aroused about what is missing what, mm. in terms of diversity in the, a range of kind of professional issues. Um, so we've developed um, some action learning sets which are really about setting the context uh, and setting the expectation for these conversations to be had, to be able to um, foster psychological safety for everybody because this is a really difficult piece mm. of work, because people are uncomfortable from all angles, uh, whether you're white uh, and, and British in heritage or of any other diverse heritage, 
be talk, the dis discussions about race can be really difficult. Oh yeah. So people might want to hide um, and avoid it. Uh, and that avoidance has probably kept the status quo going for a long time. That's, you know what, that's true for BAME staff as well. Yeah. To raise those kinds of issues as a staff member for, for yourself yeah. and for your colleagues. Yeah. And this is definitely one of the reasons why the BAME staff network exists. So we can have a think about this and support each other. Yeah. And, and as well just bring that support to the wider trust as well. The, the journey's only just begun. Uh, mm -hmm. particularly in terms of allyship and what we can do differently. It's provoking a lot of conversations and thoughts about um, teaching and education and learning experiences for trainee psychologists, social workers and nurses, um, about making uh, diversity and difference uh, a, a, a broader part of our understanding about the healthcare system uh, and the impact of uh, social injustice mm. about our, in our patient groups. So this is this allyship for everybody to get involved in. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>